Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bogotter, back with another Wildstar video. I've decided to do a series of videos that show my progress on getting attuned for raiding. Now, if you want to get into the 20 player or the 40 player content in this game on the PvE side, you need to go through a lengthy uh, attunement process. That's a series of quests or activities that you have to complete in order to get access to those raids. So I figured I would do a, uh, a basically a guide or a walkthrough and show my progress through it. So the first thing you need to do is obviously get to level 50 that's first and foremost but once you do get to level 50 you are going to unlock a quest called attunement the genesis key and it says here you received a call from the head of the royal collegium chancellor juratech gurian asking you to come down to the enigma chamber in ilium and speak with executive assistant kunio so here i am in ilium if you're in exile you will um, smell, but you will also not be going to Ilium. You will go to, uh, you know, your own capital city in order to uh, do this quest. So it'll be slightly different, but I figured you should be able to follow along. All right, you're going to go here to the Ilium Enigma Chamber. Can I go in, please? Thank you. And let us complete this quest and see what is up. So here is the assistant. Good to see you, Gav. It's an honor to meet you. Chancellor insisted on your immediate involvement. You see, with Drusera's help, we have opened an ancient Elden artifact known as the Genesis Key. With it, we'll be able to access places on Nexus that were closed to us before, places where the Elden might have hidden information. There might be a small problem, however. Okay, so what is the problem, however? We have to talk to Drusera. She's standing right here. It's so good to see you. All right, the quest is complete. What is she saying? She is saying, Hello again. Unfortunately, the Genesis key no longer works. The primal patterns that were used to attune it have eroded. In order to activate the Genesis key, we must assemble the only existing Elden primal patterns on Nexus, the very patterns that were used to create me. Echoes of these patterns exist all over Nexus, but I'm afraid it will be difficult to retrieve them. However, the Genesis key can help us. I have to go before my presence draw his attention, but good luck, and thank you. Alright, so, that is the little bit of lore that we get for this. So, it actually is funny, you need to get a key to kind of get attuned, but it, it kind of makes sense. We want to unlock different places of, uh, you know, Elden secrets, and so we kind of need to power up this key. Alright, so we're off to purchase the Genesis key. Okay, we took a quick little ride to the Elder Gem Vendor here in Ilium. Of course, you all need to be in Fade if you're in Exile. And we're going to look at the Elder Gem Vendor, and we can see here... That guy is talking. We can see here that uh, we have a lot of stuff that you could buy, obviously. But, under... Where is it? No, it's not there. Security keys. The Genesis key is here. And uh, the selling for 150 Elder Gems. Now, I happen to have 177 Elder Gems, so I can purchase my key right here, which I'm going to do. Returning this item will incur a 50% restocking fee. Are you sure? Yes, I want that item. Purchase it. Okay, so I have it. Now, how do you get Elder Gems if you don't have 100, 150? Well, after you hit max level, you still accrue experience points. Actually, they call them Elder Points. And when you actually would gain a level, instead of gaining a level, instead of going up to level 51, you instead, you get an Elder Gem. And that just goes right into your, your currencies. And so, if you're completing quests and doing different things that gain experience in the game, well, then you're going to actually accrue these Elder Gems. Now, there's currently a cap on how many Elder Gems you can get in a week. I believe it's 140 as of this recording. So, it will take you a little bit over a week to get your Elder Gems up to a total of 150 so you can get your key. Now, a couple places that are good to go to get Elder Gems. You can take uh, ships um, from the Spaceport Alpha. You can go to the Max Level Zones. Uh, there is the Crimson Badlands, which has daily quests you can repeat every day. And you can also go over to the newly opened Northern Wastes. It's another max level zone and full of different quests and stuff like that. And just every quest you complete while you're at max level in these zones will actually give you an Elder Point, uh, an Elder Gem. So you just, you know, you complete a bunch of quests, you can quickly accrue some Elder Gems in that way. So once you get to the point that you're at 150, you're going to come over to this vendor, you're going to grab your key, and the then you'll see that we get this quest here. Tombment, the Genesis Key. If you haven't already, be sure to equip the Genesis Key. You have much work to do, and I suggest you get to it. I'll Come get on there. And do not disappoint me. Okay, so I have my key. Where's my key? Here it is. It looks like a 
flag or something. And you can see here, I actually have a key slot that is empty on my character. So let's let's stick it in there. We got it. Drusera talks to me. I believe I know where you need to go. The first primal pattern was entrusted to a powerful... Whoa, uh, she, she's talking too fast. I believe I know where you need to go. The first primal pattern was entrusted to a powerful fire elemental by the name of Pyrolos or Pyrolos. I've seen him roaming around Kel Ulgar in the jungles of Wilderun. You'll have to defeat him in order to collect the primal pattern he guards. So that is the next step in our attunement process. So if you look at your key here, it actually says Abumens 0 of 13. The Archine's pattern, defeat Guardian Pyrolos in Wilderun. You can see you can track which step you're on right there. And you can see this is going to be a long roll road, so this is going to be a series of videos that will show off this. I'm going to stop this video here. Um, please stay tuned for the next episode as I go for that uh, Fire Elemental guy. If you find this video helpful, please hit like and favorite and subscribe to the channel. And make, make sure you post any questions that you may have in the comments field below. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time on Planet Nexus. Take care.